Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to take a look at some accounting calculations that use the simple interest formula. But before we get started, we got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, are you ready to do some simple interest calculations? Yeah. All right, get that calculator ready and let's get started right there. Simple interest. The formula for simple interest is really simple. It's I equals PRT. I represents the amount of interest. If you take out a loan, it's the amount of interest you have to pay back. P represents the principal. That's the amount of the loan. R represents the interest rate. Now the interest rate is the percentage. So the P represents principal, the amount of the loan, not the percentage. It's the principal. R represents the interest rate, which is your percent. And T represents the time in years. Now here's where it gets tricky. Because in accounting calculations, they use a 360 day calendar, which means one year equals 360 days in accounting calculations. Well, we know that's not true, right? One year has 365 days, but that's not even true. It's actually 365 and a quarter days. That's why we have a leap year every four years. And 360 five and a quarter days is not even accurate itself. So let's stop there. But for accounting calculations, they use the 360 day calendar year. Let's do our first problem right here. A student needs a 90 day loan for $750. The annual interest rate is 18%. How much must the student pay the lender after 90 days? So we need to calculate the amount of interest first. Our principal is the amount of loan, which is $750. The interest rate or percentage is 0.18. Remember, you have to convert that percent to a decimal by moving the decimal two places to the left. That's how we get 18 hundredths. T is the time in years. Now notice, we were given 90 days. The calendar year used in accounting calculations is 360. So the time in years is 90 out of 360. So it's 90 over 360. So let's perform our calculation. The principal is 750. The interest rate as a decimal is 0 0.18, 18 hundredths. And the time in years is 90 divided by 360, which is 0 0.25, 1 fourth actually. And performing our calculation. Okay, Charlie, what's 750 times 0 0.18 times 0 0.25? 33.75. <laughs> Very nice there, Charlie. Remember, when we're talking about dollar amounts, we always round to the nearest hundredth, right? And so the interest is $33.75. So how much does the student have to pay back after 90 days? Well, he borrowed $750, and the interest is $33.75. So the total is $783.75. So the student must pay $783.75 to pay off the loan. And that's after 90 days. Okay, let's do another one here. A student takes out an emergency loan for $600 to pay for school supplies. The interest rate is 6% annually. How much interest does the student have to pay after six months? Well, six months is a half a year, right? I represents the amount of interest, and that's the unknown. That's what we have to calculate. P is the principal. Here the principal was $600. The rate was 6%. We need to convert that percent to a decimal by moving the decimal two places to the left. That's why we have 0 0.06 for our rate. And the time in years is six months. Now we can say six months is half a year, so we'll use 0.5 for the years. Our formula is I equals PRT. I equals our principal, $600, times the rate as a decimal, 0 0.06, and the time in years is half a year, or 5 tenths, or 0 0.5. And now we put our numbers in Charlie's calculator. All right, Charlie, what would you get for this? 18. 18. That's 600 times 0 0.06 times 0 0.5. 
So $18 is the interest. So how much interest does a student have to pay after six months? $18. There we go. And that's enough with the simple interest formula. It's very simple. So we don't need to do any more problems. Anyway, that's it. Let's take a break and maybe we'll see you again soon.